Good afternoon. Um, welcome to my broadcast. A little bit earlier than usual because I have a social engagement tonight. <coughs> Being around the holidays, stuff happens. Anyway, uh, welcome to episode number 567. I just keep tracking the numbers, it gets crazy. And the topic today is relationship, partnership, romance, and business, and how they do and don't fit together. Because this could be interesting. And if you haven't seen my broadcast before, usually at 5 p.m. Pacific time, and I'm doing a bit early today. But let me jump into the intro, then the topic. So, hi, thanks for joining me. My name is Barry Selby. I'm a best selling author, speaker, and relationship attraction expert. And I help high achieving women and strong, successful women create balance in love, life, and business. I'm also a passionate champion for the divine feminine, which is what this talk's going to be really about. And every day now for, well, over two years I started to go, I started doing these, but certainly for quite a while I've done these every day. These talks called Messages from the Masculine to Inspire Your Feminine Heart. And today is episode number 567. And the topic, the theme, the title is Relationship, Partnership, Romance and Business. And I'll break that down in a moment, but I want to preface it, um, or maybe setting a prime example. Marty and Ruth Bader Ginsburg. That's a good example. Um, I was reading a, a, a little cliff notes about her biography and talking about their relationship that she had with her husband, Marty. Um, that was, for me, the epitome of a romantic, full life, relationship slash partnership. Because they were a couple, married, and they basically they tried cases together and were... Um, very proactive in the world, but also they she shared equal duty of parenting their kids. And according to the archive reading, like he did more cooking than she did, but she did other things. And they covered for each other when they were doing stuff like at law school or when they were graduates because they started dating. In fact, I think they got engaged when she was like 17 or 18, so they started very young, which was in college. Anyway, putting it on the front um, as a template to start this conversation rolling. I also put a, posted a meme a friend of mine posted earlier today that was. Um, on the theme that, ladies, you don't want to have a fixer-upper in a relationship. It is not a relationship when you are being the mother to your to your boyfriend or your partner. That's my way of saying what was with the meme. Because a lot of women tend to think they've got to take care of their partner, and that can get really out of alignment when it's not done out of respect. There's certain levels of taking care that both partners can give. And yes, in times of trauma, challenge other things too, you can step beyond that to take care of. But when you do it as a way of life because your partner doesn't bother to take care of themselves, that's not a good deal. That's a deal breaker for me, in my book. I hope it is for you too. One of the things I want to put on the table too because of this thing about partnership that can be a relationship that transcends just relationship, a rom ro romantic relationship, excuse me, say that again, is what I call a business inclusive. So basically two people who live together and work together, who love together and grow together, who are intimate together and teach together or some other framing. I'm, I'm playing with the two pairs. But the reality is that relationships nowadays require partners to be equal. And here's the thing. I talked about this before, but I framed it differently when I was at a, a social engagement on Tuesday. And so I want to say here, which is this. In in a synopsis, it's, my, it's become my sort of catchphrase lately, apparently, which is the business world was created by men for men. And women have been trying to trying to catch up ever since, and it's an unfortunate imbalance, which is why the world is not in favour of women. I saw something posted yesterday about how um, it will t for for women to get equally to e have equal pay between men and women across the board, it will take over two hundred years. That isn't very impre in impressive or exciting. So this is kind of a rant, and maybe if I dig deep enough. Some solutions, we'll see. This is something that I'm speaking about because it's frustrating to me to watch women not be respected in business and in love, which is why I talk about this stuff a lot. And for me, there's a distinct shift that, I don't say needs to happen, but I'm holding for it to happen because for ladies who are watching this, who follow me, you know my work, you know that I'm looking for you to attract, I'm looking for, I can say this another way, I'm intending for you to, have an, to attract and have an amazing relationship that is, um, equality based and I don't mean 50-50 split that's not what I'm talking about because relationships as you know and I've said this many times it's in my book 50 ways to love your lover relationships aren't 50-50 the 100 100 but there's an equality of respect of support 
of interactions so it's not like one leading one following necessarily now in some cases that can work but for most people i believe having equal time in front and equal time in support is part of the um the balance of relationship and so in my work with my audience and i sort of feel like i'm doing behind the scenes a lot i'm really help, my passion is really helping women to step into their authority and rightful place in in equal standing with men in life in love and in business because it's way past the time when that should have happened already and so maybe maybe it's been up to me and some other people i know who are saying hey when he's changed this but i'm speaking up from a masculine voice a male perspective because i see the disparity and it's not working the way it is in fact watching some of the um I can say this, the discrepancies I'm seeing in the political arena, even though there's more and more women showing up, unfortunately a lot of the women who are in politics are just copying the men in terms of how they act and they fight and they argue and they compete. And ladies, it isn't your way to, th it's not, that's not the way to success. Um, but change is coming. I just read yesterday, I guess I'm doing a news, news report today, I read yesterday that um, in Nevada, the um, legislature for the first time in any state is a majority of women, not men. So things are changing, but it's more coming. And so this isn't so much a teaching as much as it is a reminding type talk, I think, today. Um, I'm definitely feeling that it needs to be talked about more. So I'm just, I need to get this out of my head. I think it's been circling in my head for the last couple of days. I want to just say this, get it out, and maybe start a conversation. I'm definitely feeling that there's an imbalance going on for a while now. And the fact that women haven't had the respect forever now but stepping to place of waking up because my message is getting to the point where I'm really not just saying, let me help you find the man of your dreams because ladies, you should be the dream of some men. And it's a shift that I'm realizing in my own languaging and my own work that's coming forward. And in the new year, I think something big is coming in terms of what my messaging is about. So it's not a sneak preview because I don't know what it is. <laughs> but these talks are unearthing something deeper in me that is to really be in support of women in general, not just in a relationship. It's about balancing life, love and business, as I've said in my title. And it's more in that vein where I am realizing more and more that my skills and the, the things I've learned for the last 30 plus years can help so many women, um, one, feel supported, but two, learn how to support themselves. So this is a, what would I call this then? It's not a teaching. It's not, it may be inspirational, I hope. <laughs> but it's more just me venting to get stuff out of my head so I can be clear because um, there's more coming. Because the reality is this is the beginning of something bigger. This, um, I don't remember as I may mistitle the talk. Well, let me let me go back to the title because I want to reframe it a little bit. So I talked about I talked last two weeks ago about relationship versus partnership, and so the difference in relationship and partnership in my book is partnership again is that equal equality balanced experience. Relationship can be just two people in love, which may or may not be may not be in balance. So relationship versus partnership is thumbs up in my book. Romance and business is does your relationship transcend just the romantic piece? And this is the thing, ladies, for the ladies especially who watch this, learning how to shift gears, so to speak, to disengage, to move from your business mindset, which unfortunately for the last, not unfortunately for you, but unfortunately for the world has been created as a copycat for the men. As I said, the business world was created by men for men and ladies have been trying to fit in ever since. So. In currently the way the business world is set up for women, it's been a place where you've been required to act like men. And then when you try to do relationships, it doesn't work if you keep doing that. So the shift I encourage you ladies to take, and this is one of my teachings as well, is about how do you shift back into your feminine when you're in the, the softer arena of dating versus business. So I'm not gonna teach that here. I'm just seeing what's on my mind currently. This is my reminder. This is, this is a reminder talk, guys, more than anything else. It's just reminding you what the truth is for your own power, your own establishment, your own inspiration. I've got, again, again, something's brewing for the new year. I don't know what it is yet, but this is part of the unpacking of what's in the way of it. So it's been a value to you. I mean, it's a brief talk, I know, and it really is meant to be um, hopefully inspiring. I don't know if it is or not. I definitely appreciate feedback and comments that there was something in it for you. Um, but it's definitely time for a shift and I'm holding for that for everybody but particularly for the women who I support in, in my work and the women I know as my friends and in the world there's a shift coming and I know that the 
the Dionys of what we is that the right word Dionys the challenging times we feel we feel that we're in at the moment is a stepping stone to where we're going and it needs to crash and burn in some ways to be free to create something new like a phoenix out of the out of the flames and I think that's what's happening in my work but also what's happening for women as well is there's a time that's coming it's going to change the whole paradigm there's seeds planted but there's a lot of the old um, concrete in the way of that and as the concrete breaks up and the seeds can blossom that's when the feminine power steps into leadership and it's coming soon that wasn't the title I started with so let me. so with that I thank you for watching this is my daily Facebook live usually at 5 p.m. Pacific time but I've got a social engagement tonight so I'm going to finish early um, I appreciate you being with me if you have any questions comments please put them below this is my daily Facebook live so it does go to Facebook and then onto YouTube and then in my podcast I'll give you the links um, and by the way I know part of my next steps is going to be speaking in front of bigger audiences in public in person not just through video so if you're a woman who's in place where there's a lot of women who want to hear this message maybe interactively maybe in a, some sort of conversation which is much deeper than this please let me know um, you can go to the contact form on my, on my website which is barryselby.com and reach me that way if you want or just send me a message over social media yeah that's changing so links to, for replays Facebook live first goes to my business page on Facebook which is barryselby.author and then I put them onto my, my uh, YouTube library and my YouTube channel is Barry Selby please subscribe to that and you can watch the replays in uh, Messages for the Masculine that's the playlist on my, on my YouTube channel and also on my podcast I'm loading up there which is also called Messages for the Masculine on iTunes you can subscribe to that and um, listen to them whenever you're driving around doing other things when you're not watching the screen and um, just to be clear this wasn't my most uh, lucid and specific teaching it was definitely what was on top of mind that's vented out so appreciate you bearing with me <laughs> and uh, we'll see what comes out tomorrow hopefully a little bit clearer there's something else brewing and I'm not sure what it is yet but again my topics are shifting I'm trusting the process I wish you well have a great time tonight taking care of yourself I'll see you again tomorrow and uh, reach out if you have any questions I'll talk to you tomorrow bye